here. So West Yorkshire Radio, Bulls TV, Mick the Game Caller Gledel here. It is Sunday afternoon, Rugby League, the championship season. It's round number five, and this afternoon it's the turn of York and Bradford to produce another one of those championship games. That has everything. 80 minutes of nerve shredding, tension away as York hunt their first win of the season and what a scalp it would be against the Momentum Mac Bulls after their achievements against Halifax, Featherstone and Toulouse. So York in possession, early doors here as Fenton Rogers, who was down on the interchange bench, he is clearly starting this game this afternoon and he has just put a big hit there on former Wakefield man Connor Bailey as Akuma Tai carries York 10 shy halfway on tackle number four. We've had 30 seconds gone on the clock. West Yorkshire Radio, Bulls TV, Jordan Thompson up to halfway. Fifth and last tackle coming up here for the York Knights. Jubs in at dummy half. He looks towards the right, finds Harris. Harris boots a ball, sends that one downtown towards McGowan. McGowan lets it bounce in the sunshine. He takes it. And Huddersfield giant Loney Ada McGowan, tackle one. 20 metres out from his own try line here. A minute gone on the clock. And here goes George Tafua now taking on Connor Fitzsimmons and Jacob Gannon down the middle on tackle number two. Bradford 30 out from their own try line here. They're just doing the first sort of going through the early motions as they find themselves now 20 shy of halfway. Ball goes over on that right hand edge towards Fulton. Fulton's made 15 metres. Fourth tackle gone, five shy of halfway. It's a perfect Sunday afternoon for Championship Rugby League as, as Davis links with Lily. Lily now to Doro. Doro with a half break, a half chance. Suiters in support. Doro though offloads it towards the left to Lily. And Lily will scamper forward and make an extra five, six, seven metres. Bradford five inside the York half on the fifth and last. Suiter a dummy half is going to go towards Davis. Davis. Kicks towards the corner. Put under pressure there was John Davis. That one's taken by young Miles Harrison, the York fullback. And that's good kick chase pressure there. And Bradford setting their defensive stall out. Early doors here. We've had two minutes gone on the clock. York nil, Bradford nil. And that's Hallison Suter with that early big push. Pushing Harrison back nearly 10 metres from where he took the ball. And York on tackle two. They find themselves now 20 out from their own try line as Pemberton's out of dummy half. He'll just give it on the short ball there towards Gannon. So they're on tackle number three here, the Knights. They're 25 out from their own line. Former Bradford man Joe Brown. He's wrapped up on his own 30 metre line. Tackle four. Centre field position here for the Knights. Bradford's defence has put York under pressure. So Harris will kick early in the count. He'll turn around McGowan. McGowan from the 20 to the 30 to the 40. Aidan McGowan's brought down by Severs and Bailey, the two York defenders. Lily's in at dummy half to Tafua, the former Manly Sea Eagle man. 11 seasons in the NRL. Former Wakefield man, of course, joined towards the end of last season. Rolled over on halfway. Suiters in at dummy half to Rogers. Rogers goes straight down the middle. He's going to be brought down just five inside the Bradford half of the field so that early change is no Dan Smith so Rogers has started we'll uh, try and find out what's gone on with that as the game progresses but Chester Butler's carried Bradford 30 metres out from the York line they're in a dangerous position here Bradford as it goes from Lilly to Hallis and Hallis is wrapped up once again there there's Jubb and Fitzsimmons involved in that tackle also Thompson Lilly kicks on the last targets Harrison Harrison takes that under pressure from Gill and Butler. Gill and Butler, as we said. Appearance number 10 of the season for those. Alongside McGowan, Lilly and Apo. Six ever presence in this Bradford side. Jordan Thompson down the middle. 15 out from his own line. Fulton and Doro already working hard in defence. As we now see York trying to do something a little bit different over on that left-hand side with Tom Lyman. Get to his feet, he'll play the ball. Back down the middle channel, they're going to go here with Connor Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons is wrapped up, 15 shy of halfway. They're on the last tackle. Ball goes back to Harris. Harris put under pressure by Rogers. 
Bounce of the ball is kind for Tafua. Takes it on his own 30. Passes in field. And that's an error there from George Tafua. And York very nearly giving possession back there. But McGowan has it. And McGowan's away over on the far stand side. McGowan's wrapped up there by Connor Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons wraps him up like a free meal. And now it's going to go from Fulton to Davis to Lilly. Lilly's looking for support, but there's no one there. York's defence. It's scatterbrained. It's at sixes and sevens as Davis to Doro. Doro back to Rogers. This is majestic from the balls to Gill. Gill to Tafua. Tafua shows Brown the touchline. And he's brought down 10 metres out from the York line. And York are holding on in the tackle. And it's a set restart according to Kiwi official Michael Smale. He says that York have just been holding Tafua down. So the five metres out now from the York line with a fresh set of six. Suter to Lilly to Doro. Doro is like a cage beast at the zoo let loose. Doro two metres out to the left hand side of the post here. Bradford looking to trouble the scoreboard operator early doors. Rogers can't get past Job and Fitzsimmons. Good defence there from the York Knights. Suters in at dummy half to Lilly. Along the line it goes to Davis. Davis to McGowan. Now it goes to Arundel outright. Arundel's wrapped up 12 metres out. Good defence here. Good recovery from the York Knights. Arundel plays the ball. Blackmore's in at dummy half. Now to McGowan, to Hallis. Lily's looking for a play here. He's calling for the ball. Bradford are on the last tackle. And they're 10 metres out in front of the post. Centre field position. It goes to Lily. Cross field kick looking for Gill. Tafua. Tafua's got it. Back to Butler. To Kieran Gill. And Kieran Gill's got the ball down. It was a lovely offload from Chester Butler. It went to Fua Butler. Back on the inside to Gill. And Kieran Gill tried number nine of the season. Bradford opened the scoring here in sensational fashion because it very nearly was a York try after a horror pass inside to field from Tafua. And in the end, that pass from Tafua, that was the catalyst because York went hunting for that live loose ball that committed too many players towards the ball in the end McGowan got it and McGowan went around four York defenders and he was away over on the far stand side it was the speed of the play of the ball the light speed killed York because Lilly was straight down the middle then there was Dower in support York committed the six again and Bradford have made that early pressure pay it was a lovely kick on the last from Jordan Lilly he found Tafua. Tafua had sucked in Charlie Severs, Joe Brown and Miles Harrison. It was passed back on the inside towards Butler and Chester Butler. He just watched the York players come towards him. And it was that neat little flick on out the back door to Kieran Gill. And Kieran Gill, well, we said he might give Gareth Gale and Lachlan Wormsley a run for the money this season. He's already up to nine tries, Kieran Gill. Two last week. And he's opened the scoring inside six minutes here at the LNER Stadium. So, York nil, Bradford four, Jordan Lilly. He was free from four last week against Toulouse. He's 36 from 45 for the season. He's kicking at 82%. Kick predictor turned on here. It's only saying 55%. But this one is just going to fade to the left-hand side of the pause. So, the kick predictor was spot on the money. But it's an early try to the Bradford Bulls and no real shock that it's come from Kieran Gill it's York nil, Bradford 4 we've had 7 gone on the clock here West Yorkshire Radio Bulls TV lovely stuff from the Bulls they capitalised on that York Hill discipline they might have had to wait till the last tackle but it was the craftsmanship the architectural brilliance of Jordan Lilly that pinpoint accurate kick towards Gill and Tafua and that's an early warning sign for Andrew Henderson and the York Knights, Charlie Severs, Miles Harrison and Joe Brown are going to have a lot of pressure put on them, you feel, in that part of the field. So, we're back on the restart here with Butler playing the ball, 10 shy of halfway. Kieran Gill, the try scorer, up and inside the York half of the field. And you've just got to feel at this moment in time here, York needs to wrestle some back of this early Bradford Bulls momentum because Fenton Rogers is playing the ball on tackle number four now, 25 out from the uh, York line as it goes to Suter, to Doro. Doro's just going to front up. He's looking for the offload there, Aribi Doro, but that's good defence. 
And Bradford now on the last... Oh, no, referee says there's one more to go here. Suited towards Lily. Lily kicks early. Perhaps it was the last tackle. Either way, York back in possession here through Joe Brown. The former Bradford Wigan man. 20 out from his own try line. Penalty to York because Bradford are offside. York did come up with the error. But referee Michael Smale, he was saying to Sam Hallis, Fenton Rogers, you're offside inside the 10. Bradford didn't listen. And despite the error from York and Bradford picking up possession with Sam Hallis, they were offside and it will be a penalty. Well, we'll let you know what the latest scores are elsewhere. We've got Barrow, Doncaster, Batley, Wakefield, Feverson, Widness, a big game there. Also, Halifax and Sheffield at the Shea. And the latest scores are Swinton beating Dewsbury by four points to nil and Wakefield leading Batley by 6-0. All the other games currently scoreless. We'll keep you up to date with those scores as and when they come in. It's West Yorkshire Radio, Bulls TV. Just under 10 minutes gone here at the LNER. York now having their best spell of pressure inside the Bradford half of the field. The 30 metres out now from the Bradford line and they're playing the ball to the left-hand side of the post. It goes now down the middle with Thompson. Thompson draws in Harris. Harris now to Bailey. Bailey wrapped up there by Butler and Lilly. The two 12s meet there and Butler just dumps Bailey down on the turf. The knocking on the door, the 20 metres out now as uh, Jubb goes out of dummy half and he attacks the A and B markers, but Lily and McGowan do exceptionally well. Fourth tackle gone for the Knights, one remaining, 10 out underneath the pause as it goes from Jubb to Fitzsimmons. Fitzsimmons is two metres out from the Bradford try line. Fifth and last, says Michael Smale. The look towards Harris. The ball is running. They should have gone for the kick there. And that's good defence from Kieran Gill and George Tafua. Young Charlie Severs on loan from Hull FC. His run is halted. And it remains on the scoreboard. York nil, Bradford 4. Well, let us know in the comments where you're joining us from this afternoon. And don't forget, as always, we will let you vote for the man of the match. Bull Power joining us, also got Bulls on radio, Johnny Jack joining us, says no remorse, Bulls keep the foot on the gas, well Bradford have just come up with their first error in open play here, 25 out from their own try line, so an early error here from the Bulls, 10 minutes gone on the clock and now they're going to find themselves defending their own try line, this is one of those p passages of play what Eamon O'Carroll has been speaking about in terms of, you know, don't put themselves under any unnecessary pressure and that's exactly what the Bulls have done they're inviting the York Knights on their own try line so it's Conor Fitzsimmons who's playing the ball underneath the Bradford post 10 metres out jumps in at dummy half towards Thompson Thompson to Akuma Tai and Akuma Tai's lost the ball but it's reefed out Aribi Doro penalised there was two Bradford hands in there says Michael Smale it's a penalty to the left hand side of the post York awarded back to back penalties here and now Bradford more defending to do so, 11 minutes gone on the clock. Harris to Bailey. Wrapped up inside the Bradford 10 metre line. This is good defence though from the Bradford Bulls, but they're making things a little bit difficult for himself as Jubb goes to Akumatai. Akumatai twisting, turning, looks for support. There's no runner there. If there was a runner, it's potentially a York try underneath the post. Here goes Jordan Thompson now, taking on full turn. Ball picked off the boot laces, and they're over in at the corner with Jimmy Kinehorse. Jimmy Kinehorse, he's back from his ankle injury, and somehow Jimmy Kinehorse picks that off the boot laces, and that is a really good York Knights try. And we're locked up here. We've had 12 minutes gone on the clock. It's York 4, Bradford 4. And something tells me this is going to be another championship thriller in the air. So an early try apiece here at the LNER. And that has come on the back of Bradford's ill-discipline with ball in hand, the error, and then the two penalties putting themselves under pressure. So West Yorkshire Radio, Bulls TV. 13 gone on the clock here. That's Bradford's 24th try they've conceded this season. They've scored 40. So, kick predictor here for Miles Harrison. 
65%. 15 in from the far stand side. This to give the York Knights the lead for the first time here. And a confidence boosting lead it would be. Four points apiece. Harrison is on point. He's got the marksmanship. It is York Knight six. Bradford Bulls four here. 13 minutes gone. West Yorkshire Radio Bulls TV. Well, what would be a good indicator, a good barometer of a Bradford performance? Well, we know that Bradford have cracked the application and effort that Eamon O'Carroll desires, but certainly shooting themselves in the foot with errors and ill-discipline and silly penalties, which is inviting the opposition to put pressure on Bradford's defensive line. And we've just seen three minutes where Bradford have just done that after a strong start. So, Bradford, as we know... They're not the finished article or not perfect by any imagination, but allowing York to put pressure on their own line. That will cause concern for Raymond O'Carroll. So, 14 gone on the clock here. York on the restart with Akuma tie. 15 shy of halfway. Jubs in at dummy half now to Thompson, to Pemberton. Back down the middle, the Knights will come. Five shy of halfway, two tackles left on this fresh set of six after that try from Jimmy Kinehorst. Fitzsimmons carries it in with purpose and venom and he's wrapped up five inside the Bradford half of the field. Centre field position here. Harris calls for the ball. Harris gets it, boots a ball, sky highs it. McGowan will let the ball bounce but it will go towards the right, towards Tafua. And Tafu are now in possession for the Bradford Bulls. And Bradford now will look to clean the slate and try and build some pressure and momentum as Ben Blackmore makes a good 20-metre spurt out of dummy half. And he's brought down 15 shy of halfway. Lilly infield towards Gill. Tackle free. Kieran Gill, 10 shy of halfway. Bradford playing the ball on their own 40. Suter down the middle here with Fenton Rogers. Rogers up to halfway. Tackle four. One remaining here for Eamon O'Carroll's side as Suter goes past Akuma Tai and Suter bounces off one, bounces off two. Last tackle coming up here for the Bulls. They're down by six points to four. Ten inside the York half. A wayward pass from Davis. Lily though takes it and kicks straight down the front here of Miles Harrison. Harrison will take it on his own 10 metre line up to the 20. He'll beat the Bradford Bulls. Red Amber and Black welcoming committee. 25 shy of halfway. And York now back in possession here. Taylor Pemberton out of dummy half to Joe Brown. Brown's wrapped up tackle two. Good 15 metres made there by Brown. They're 12 metres or so shy of halfway. Tackle number two. Pemberton, the former St. Talon's hooker, gives it down the middle here with Charlie Severs. Severs is wrapped up, five shy of halfway. Tackle number three. We've had 16 minutes gone on the clock. York six, Bradford four. Real tight, close, fought come game of rugby league here at the LNER Stadium as Tom Lynham's brought down on tackle four. Five inside the Bradford half of the field. Jordan Thompson goes down the middle. He's got Hallis, Doro and Fenton Rogers on him. And York on the last tackle, 30 out, centre field position. And once again, it's a high-hanging kick here from Harris. Doro's wrapped up, Harris. Tafu has lost the ball in the sunshine. That was Alan Nathan Graham at Wembley in 96. Harris and Doro are having a set two in back play. And Michael Smale's giving a penalty here now to the York Knights. 10 metres out in front of the Bradford Post. Bradford just losing their composure here somewhat. They're allowing York to get involved. And they're going to take two easy points here, the York Knights, because Bradford... Doro, it was a, a very, very... Well, I don't think there was too much wrong with it, being perfectly honest. But Michael Smale saying it's a penalty for a late hit. And... It's where the ball bounces, of course, which is 10 metres out. It'll just be a penalty to York. It won't be anything worse for Bradford to deal with. But we've just seen in the last five, ten minutes, Bradford just getting in, involved in that arm wrestle with York when I don't think they need to. And uh, Miles Harrison, this to give York an extra two points. The kick predicts is 100%. 18 minutes gone on the clock. Bradford all of a sudden 
down on the penalty count. Four penalties to nil. Miles Harrison from in front. An extra two points for the Knights. York 8, Bradford 4. 19 minutes gone on the clock. West Yorkshire Radio Bulls TV. Well, last season when these two sides met here at the LNER Stadium, Bradford were leading 10-0 after 30 minutes. York then scored 32 unanswered points, including five penalty goals in that second half. It were Bradford's first loss of 2023. History surely won't repeat itself this afternoon. So we're just short of the midway point in this first half. And York up off the canvas. They've got Bradford in that arm wrestle. Bradford not had much ball inside that York half of the field. Jubs in there at dummy half now to Thompson. Thompson hard yards forward, drives there, 25 out from his own line. 15 shy of halfway as Jub goes back down the middle channel here. And that's good defence there on Tom Lynham. As Butler, Hallis and Souter wrap up Lynham. Jub now towards Bailey. Bailey's rolled over tackle four. Much, much better defensively from the Bulls here. Jub's going to go scampering out of dummy half. Goes lateral towards the left, straight ends up. And they're on the last tackle inside their own half here. So they're going to kick from deep with Harris who once again is going to target McGowan and Tafua. And in the sunshine, Bradford let the ball bounce once more. But this time, McGowan a lot more composed than George was a moment ago. Lillian at dummy half here to Tafua. Tafua, good leg drive there. Second tackle gone here. Bradford just shy of halfway. Lillian's in at dummy half now towards Gill. Gill along the line towards Blackmore, but... York's defence is getting straight up there into the face of the Bradford players. So they've lost a little bit of momentum there, Bradford, on that play. Souter goes towards the right with Davis. Davis is brought down on halfway, tackle number four, just to the right of centre field. And he's gone down there as John Davis. It was a big physical challenge from Jimmy Kinehorst. He'll get to his feet a little bit gingerly. He'll play the ball. Doro goes down the middle. Thompson wraps him up. Last tackle. Coming up here for the Bradford Bulls. Goes back to Lilly on halfway. Lilly kicks straight down towards Brown and Harrison. Harrison takes that one under. No real pressure. But he will meet Rodgers and Davis. And referee Michael Smale is saying that's a penalty for a flop here. He'll penalise John Davis for the flop. And all of a sudden, the penalty count now really starting to hurt the Bradford Bulls. Akuma Tai comes off the field, so Andrew Henderson is making his first change of the afternoon. And that penalty now will give York cheap metres up the field, but that is a big collision there. Jack Teamby has just come on for Akuma Tai, absolutely clattered and flattened by Hallas. Rogers comes in again. This time it's Lillian Butler, tackle two. So just over 20 minutes gone in this game. York 8, Bradford 4. Kieran Gill opening the scoring in the sixth minute. Kainos cancelling it out in the 12th. Since then, it's been real nip and tuck stuff between the two sides as they move the ball over on that left hand edge. But once again, Bradford scrambling back and just doing enough fire Zach Fulton there to stop York's momentum but here they go down the middle with Connor Fitzsimmons the 20 metres out now in front of the Bradford post on the last tackle Jubb to Thompson to Harris Harris they're going on the power play George Tafua big physical cat challenge there and George Tafua well he's just come straight in there Charlie Severs has gone straight down on the floor York appealing for a penalty, but there's nothing wrong with that. That was perfectly timed. And York have come up with only their second error of the afternoon. We'll take a check on the lady scores on the doors. And the lady scores will tell us it is Barrow 0, Doncaster 4 at Mount Pleasant. Batley 0 at Wakefield 12. At Post Office Road, it's Featherstone 4, Widnes 0. Still scoreless at the Shea. Halifax, Sheffield 0-0. Nil, nil. Dewsbury with a 12-4 lead against Swinton. And here at the LNER, it is York 8, Bradford 4. 
Well, Charlie Severs is down here and the referee has stopped the clock because that big physical challenge there from George Tafua. We'll see Bradford have the scrum. Ten out from their own try line. And they were just about to throw the ball and moving up right towards this main stand side here because Joe Brown, he was itching. If Tafua does not make that defensive contribution on Charlie Severs, he sucks in Tafua and Brown scores in at the corner. That is, you know, we're talking those small margins there. And that is going to keep the scoreboard at York 8, Bradford 4. Charlie Severs leaves the field. He will do a HIA. Well, the Bradford Bulls, three wins from four to start the new season. That certainly renewed supporter optimism that the good times are coming back to the Bradford club. Back-to-back -back wins over playoff chasing Halifax, Featherston and Toulouse, establishing the Bulls' dominance in the championship as a credible and serious threat to Wakefield Trinity. League position will ultimately decide Bradford's fate in regards to return to the Super League, but everybody knows that a top four finish in 2024 for the Bradford Bulls, that puts them in that Super League picture next season. So, from the base of the scrum, to Fua, tackle one. He's getting a lot of attention here from Chubb and Fitzsimmons, and Fitzsimmons has lost his cool. Bradford's second penalty of the afternoon, it's 5-2 on the count. Apples come on for Rodgers. Bradford not kicking towards touch. They're going to run it here with Odoro. Doro to Blackmore. Ball's gone straight into touch. But it has come off Tom Lyman. So it will be scrum head and feed to Bradford. Five shy of halfway. It did touch Tom Lyman's right palm. And Bradford will have another fresh set of six here. A little bit further up the field. Well, if Bradford were under no illusions how tough this uh, fixture was going to be for him this afternoon... 8-4 behind on the scoreboard, we'll tell you. The Bulls supporters, though, they're trying to G up and big up their performances as it goes now with Apo on tackle one, Fulton tackle two, Fulton though offloads it to Blackmore. Blackmore's lost the ball, and York are away. Lyman's away, he's going to go the distance. But referee Michael Smiles bringing everybody back. He's going to say Ben Blackmore has had the ball stolen. Five penalties to three now in favour of the York Knights. All of a sudden, we're having a glut of penalties. Well, he's going to have to come back, Is Tom Lyman. He thought he was away for a try that potentially opens up a double-digit lead over the Bradford Bulls, but try disallowed. Ball's been stolen. Lily, this time, a bit more composed. He'll drill the ball into touch. Bradford now 25 out from the York line. Arundel, tackle one. This taps and goes. Rolled over 20 metres out. It's a glorious afternoon here at the LNER Stadium. The sun shining down as it goes out of dummy half from Fulton to Apo. Apo two tries this term. Papua New Guinean International plays the ball underneath the York Pose. Bradford haven't been down here too many times in this game as it goes down to McGowan. Third tackle gone. He just slips on the turf here under a challenge from Liam Harris. Suter out of dummy half towards Doro. Doro looking always for that offload but decides to front up and he's two metres out underneath the York post here. A Bradford looking for their second try of the afternoon. Suter misses out Hallas, finds Lily. Lily twisting, turning. Lily a metre out from the York line and this is the last tackle here for the Bulls. Suter kicks one through. York have lost the ball. Miles Harrison can't take it in. And Mitch Suter's last tackle play there. If you're not going to score, force yourself a line out or a repeat sake. And this is now Bradford turning up the pressure cooker on the York Knights. Well, the Knights, the North Yorkshire outfit, the finished sixth in 2023 before bowing out in the first week of the playoffs against the Bradford Bulls at Odsall. They finished the season as the league's form team with 10 wins from 11 games. So we all know what the York Knights are all about. Davis will form the scrub. Suter takes it out to Lily to Gill. Flat ball there from Lily to Gill. Bradford chancing their arm here. The five metres out now from that York try line as Suter to Apo. Apo's offloaded the ball. Bradford have lost possession here. Hallis was saying he was taken out off the ball, but he knocked the ball on before the tackle came in. And now the York Knights, they're hitting the Bradford Bulls with some tough,
defensive resilience of their own. It's still your key, Bradford 4 here at the LNER Stadium. Well, looking at the York Knights and the way they've been playing, it's very difficult to tell who's fourth in the table and who's currently bottom with no wing. 25 minutes gone here, 15 to go to half time as Connor Bailey now's rolled over and twisted and turned by Souter and Butler. The 10 inside the Bradford half, Chubb's in there at dummy half. Incidentally, Bradford have come up with very number four of the afternoon there as Pemberton. Now to Harrison. Harrison's striding, but he can't get past Fulton and Apo. York on the last tackle. 15 inside enemy territory, inside the Bulls half as Pemberton looks to find Harris. Harris runs it on the power play. Danger here. Someone needs to stop Harris. Harris kicks through for himself. Harris regathers and York have a repeat set of six to the Michael Smale says knock on which way big decision here from the Kiwi official Harris kicked his kick through on the last he'll say Harris knock on big big decision there from Michael Smale so Bradford down by eight points to four here at the LNER Stadium former Huddersfield giant man Ronan Michael about to enter the fray here it's hotting up out there on the field 12 minutes to go to half time York 8 Bradford 4 Kieran Gill and Kynehorst Jimmy Kynehorst exchanging scores here in North Yorkshire Suter goes out a dummy half he's rolled over Tenshire halfway that should be a penalty to Bradford but it's going to go against the Bulls Suter was being held in the tackle there by Jack Teenby and he's been out Schooled out, Fox there. Doros coming in to have a word with the official. A fifth error now from the Bulls. Well, this is very, very unlike the Bulls. Crucially, they're still in this game at eight points to four. So, one of those play the ball errors that looked like it was going to go the way of the Bradford Bulls with Teamby. Pulling Suter down, but referee Michael Smale saw it the other way. You're in possession, Mitch. You've got to get to your feet and play the ball correctly. York 8, Bradford 4. York 30 out now from the Bradford try line as Harris kicks early behind Tafua. Brown's chasing. Brown's chasing. Tafua does well. Tafua picks up the loose ball and then Tafua makes five valuable metres. But the danger there from Harris kicking ahead into open pasture for Joe Brown very nearly catching the Bulls cold but using all that experience and game management to Fua it was like he was having a Sunday afternoon browsing water stones he read it and he dealt with it York 8 Bradford 4 here Davis is playing the ball on tackle three. Out of dummy half from Suter to Blackmore. Ball goes back now to Suter. Suter makes a couple more metres forward. Wrapped up there by Fitzsimmons. Also Job involved in that two-man tackle. And the 25 metres out from their own try line here, the Bradford Bulls. Ten minutes to go to half time here. It's still York 8, Bradford 4 as Lily involves Apo. Apo decides to take the tackle. They were looking for a quick play of the ball there, Bradford. They'll get it. Ball goes down town from Lily early in the count. How good's the Bradford Bulls kick chase? Harvey Wilson's just come on the field here for the Bradford Bulls. And they're going to get a quick play of the ball into the York Knights here. Now with Joe Brown. And Joe Brown's five metres shy of the halfway line. Well, at half time, we'll try and uh, dissect what has been a real madcap 32 minutes or uh, 31 minutes or so that's gone here. Bradford certainly not the best version of themselves in this first half, but that is down to the pressure and the intensity that the York Knights are bringing on the Bradford Bulls defensive line. Team will get to his feet, he'll play the ball. Just Daly's just come on the field and here's Ronan Michael, the former Huddersfield Giant, the Island International. He's rolled over on his back, crunching tackle there. Hallison Fulton doing the double team there. The ball goes back towards Harris. Last tackle, kicks to the sky. McGowan calls for it. McGowan's lost it, but it's picked up by Doro. Knock on against the Bulls. Bradford have put themselves under more pressure here in the sunshine at the LNER. Well, they've got the sun bearing down on the face in the first half here. I know it's just gone behind the clouds, but that's the third time they've not been able to deal with a high kick of Harris. And they're now going to defend their own try line because York have head and feed at the scrum 10 metres out and this is a crucial crucial 
passage of play, period of play, as we head towards the half-time hooter, because if York can extend their lead further here, that is going to put a lot of pressure on Bradford in that second half. So from the base of the scrum, it'll go from Daly to Harris. Harris, good defence there from Lily McGowan and Butler. Tackle one. York, 10 metres out, just to the right-hand side of the post. Daly's in there at dummy half. Down the middle with Teambe. Jack Teambe, taking on one, taking on two. Doro wraps him up and upends him two metres out. They're right on top of the Bradford line here as Thompson cuts through. And Jordan Thompson, he will extend York's lead here at the LNER Stadium. It's another Bradford error that has got York Knights in prime field position and Andrew Henderson's side has capitalised on another Bradford error and they have extended their lead to 12 points to four and if you didn't know Bradford's free game run was in the fright and serious danger it is now we're in the 32nd minute at the LNER stadium Jimmy Kynos we try number one Jordan Thompson try number two Harrison will attempt the conversion attempt just to the left-hand side of the post. And I think what will be really, really disappointing for Bradford Bulls on that period of play was just the ease in which Jordan Thompson was allowed to skip back on the inside past Joe Arundel, past Zach Fulton. And despite a last grass defensive effort from Aidan McGowan, ball was grounded on the Bradford try line so kick predictor turned on here 85% he's just the left hand side of the post yet to miss this afternoon Miles Harrison this to give York a double score lead here which he does it's York Knights 14 Bradford Bulls 4 and the Bulls now are going to have to come from behind if they are to maintain their promising start to the new championship season We've got six minutes to go to half time. Kieran Gill with a try for Bradford in the sixth minute. Since then, 14 unanswered York points helped by ill discipline through Bradford errors and Bradford penalties. West Yorkshire Radio, Bulls TV, Mick the Game Caller, Gledult, Sunday afternoon. York against Bradford. McGowan gets the restart back underway. Downtown towards Miles Harrison. He in turn will give the ball towards Team Bit. He's wrapped up there. Tackle one. Bradford can't concede any more points in this first half here. Well, Andrew Henderson spoke all week about a win against Bradford kickstarting the night season. This is the stuff of dreams for the York Knights. Currently 14 4 up against the Bulls. They're going to get to the feet and play the ball with Ronan Michael. Daly's in at dummy half, now towards Harris. Harris to Connor Bailey. Bailey's wrapped up there by Harvey Wilson and Mitch Souter. They're up and over halfway with Ronan Michael. They're on the last tackle here on the restart. They're going to look for Harris on this right-hand edge. Harris tries to find touch. Doesn't go into touch. Goes down the line here for McGowan. McGowan's wrapped up there by Pemberton and Daly. Tackle number one, fresh set of six here for Bradford. And we've got four minutes to go to half time here at the LNER Stadium. Can Bradford show a response here? Because they're down by 10 on the scoreboard. 14 plays four. Tafu will get to his feet, plays the ball. Tackle two. Lily now on the left edge towards Blackmore. Blackmore. Five. Ten metres med. Tackle three. 15 shy of halfway. Short ball towards Fulton. Fulton's up to halfway. Tackle four. One left here for the Bradford Bulls. Arundel goes in at dummy half to Davis. Davis just fronts up here, but York's defence just reading all the Bradford players, it must be said. They're on the last tackle here, Bradford. On the halfway line with Lilly. Sends one up. It's a high hanging kick. Second half, York will have the sunshine in their faces and I'm sure you'll see a lot more kicking and involvement from Jordan Lilly but at, certainly in this first half Bradford not able to deal on three occasions with those high-hanging Liam Harris bombs. Joe Brown's playing the ball here and now it goes straight out of dummy half from Daly to Tom Lynham. He'll get to his feet, he'll play the ball. 
Lyman quick play the ball and now York on the attack they're up to halfway here and we've got three minutes to go to half time at the LNER Stadium York 14 Bradford 4 they're playing the ball here with Connor Bailey it goes to Liam Harris to Ronan Michael Doro Suter wrap up Ronan Michael good defence here from Bradford a good response at the end of this first half ball's going to go back to Harris on halfway last tackle Suter straight into the face of Harris McGowan once again letting the ball bounce because of the sunshine and he'll now pick possession up for Bradford and this could be Bradford's last chance at the end of this first half here McGowan tackle one Lily to Tafua Tafua slips tackle two 20 shy of halfway here Bradford now moving it down with Blackmore down the middle he's wrapped up there by Ronan Michael and Harvey Reynolds who's just come on the field so Andrew Henderson making four interchanges in this first half here goes Kevin Apo five shy of halfway let's not forget Bradford started this game with a little bit of disruption a late change Fenton Rogers starting in the place of Dan Smith and now Lily to Butler to Gill to Fuwa light chance at the end of this first half for Bradford Tafu has wrapped up 30 metres out now. He's gone 20 metres down this main stand side. They're on the last tackle, Bradford. Lily will kick towards Harrison and Brown. Kieran Gill was being impeded there. Officials have missed that one. Well, Joe Brown, he looked straight at Kieran Gill and just put his shoulder into him. And you can understand the frustration there from the Bradford fans. York have got away with that one, but they're now moving the ball down the middle. And the seconds left at the end of this first half. York 14, Bradford 4 at the LNER Stadium. Half time, we'll go through some of your lovely messages of what you think of the first half and the latest scores elsewhere in the Betfred Championship. It is round five. But in the second half, Bradford, they're going to have to show a response. And that's going to have to start by rolling their sleeves up. York a five shy of halfway on the last tackle. Harris runs, drills it down the line here. McGowan just happy to let that one roll dead. I think the Hooter is going to beat everybody if that countdown clock on the big screen here at the LNER Stadium is correct. Bradford might just get one last play of the ball here. They're trailing my 14 points to four. It's just said we've hit the 40th minute and it is accurate as Black Blackmore... He takes tackle one on Bradford's final set of six of having strong performances and then coming up with a poor performance in a game where you might expect him to get the performance and the points. So we're back underway then, 40 minutes, West Yorkshire Radio, Bulls TV. Blackmore takes tackle one, 10 out from his own line. Doro tackle two, 15 out under the Bradford post. It's York 14, Bradford four. A Bradford about to make it four on the bounce, or is this defeat number two of the season coming up here at the LNER Stadium? York did the league double over Bradford last season, remember, before Bradford got revenge in the playoffs at Odsall with 22 answered points after trailing 8 0, setting up that semi final against Toulouse. Here goes John Davis now. Bradford on the last tackle. Five Shire halfway. Suter at dummy half towards Lilly. Lilly nearly caught in possession. Gets the ball back to McGowan. McGowan gets the kick up. It's a high hanging kick. York are going to let the ball bounce. Taken in there by Lyman. He does well, does Tom Lyman. Wrapped up there though by McGowan. Lyman gets a quick play of the ball. Pemberton, the former Saints youngster, in there at dummy half. And York five inside the Bradford half of the field here with Jimmy Kinehorst who's recovered from that ankle injury. He's made an impact and a played a part in this performance thus far. He scored York's opening points, cancelling out Cale and Gill's try after six minutes. York now going to put Bradford under some early pressure as Harris moves the ball over on the far stand side here with Miles Harrison. He's wrapped up 20 metres out from the Bradford line over on that right hand side back in centre field here with Harris Harris promotes the ball towards Pemberton Pemberton takes the line on back on the inside to Kynehorst Kynehorst through Kynehorst twisting turning Fulton and Doro last grass defence they're on the last tackle Blackmore goes for the intercept Blackmore can't retrieve the ball error against the Bulls another repeat set for the Knights here right at the start of the second half Error number eight of the afternoon for the Bulls. Blackmore had to go for that because Lineman was exposed on the outside of Kynost. 
very, very close knit things. Blackmore takes it in. I think he's got too much of a head start. He's gone the distance, as it is. York now. Well, a try here to York really does make things difficult for the Bradford Bulls as Harris takes the line on. And Harris will score from the scrum. And Liam Harris, he's back after his suspension. And it does go from bad to worse. Bradford's defence not able to stop Liam Harris. It was a planned move round the back of the scrum. They've caught Bradford cold on the short side. And whatever Eamon O'Carroll said at half-time, it's not had the immediate impact he would have liked. York lead the Bulls 18 points to four. We're in the 42nd minute here at the LMER Stadium. Liam Harris in the house with Taylor Pemberton this afternoon. It was a lovely work move there from York. Blackmore, in all intents and purposes, he had to go for the intercept. Otherwise... Tom Lyman's in at the corner. Well, how deep is that Bradford Bulls resolve now? We've had 42 minutes gone on the clock, 18-4. Bradford simply have to score next in this game. And now York, after all the talk about kick-starting their season against the Bradford Bulls, a side they know very, very well, after both these sides won promotion from League One in 2018, championship mainstay since fierce rivals with many many great enthralling games under the belts kick predictor here for Harrison Sony at 61% try was scored 5 in from the far stand side he's got the sunshine bearing down on his face 18-4 currently to the York Knights can he get an extra 2 points no he can't that one goes across the face and on West Yorkshire Radio Bulls TV We've got 37 minutes left here. And Bradford, they're down by 18 points to four. This is going to be one of those games where Bradford are going to have to roll the sleeves up here. That repeat set of six for York, coming off the error from Blackmore, but he had to go for the intercept because York had the extra man out wide. So we're back underway here by the boot of Aidan McGowan. This is probably going to be the set where you see Eamon O'Carroll's half-time team talk come to fruition. Because they're going to hunt the York error here. York have just made three errors all game. They're completing in the high 90s. And it's showing on the scoreboard. York 18, Bradford 4. So York two tackles into this fresh set of six after their third try of the afternoon. Thompson goes straight down the middle here, wrapped up by Fulton, Doro, Davis. They're 20 shy of halfway on tackle number three. What a scoreboard that is at halftime, as we said. Batley 12, Wakefield 12. We'll keep you up to date with all those scores as and when they're coming throughout the course of the afternoon. Don't forget next Sunday, Bradford Witness, Bardacard, Hudson. York on the last tackle now. Five shy of halfway, centre field position, Davis, Suter and Apo, the defenders there, stopping the forward momentum of Ronan Michael. Kick goes down the throat there of Tafua, who takes it, and Tafua's wrapped up. 20 shy of halfway, tackle one. Here goes Blackmore down the middle. Bradford, as we said, suffered a disruption going into this game. Dan Smith was named in the starting lineup, but he's obviously picked up a, a knock or an injury in the pre match warm up. So that has made Bradford have had to start with Fenton Rogers and move Elliot Paposhi from 18th man. And uh, Kevin Apo comes up with a good offload. Good second phase from Lilly to Butler. Bradford 10 inside the York half now, and we're just seeing Bradford coming alive somewhat with ball in hand. Lilly now looks for runners, finds one in Doro, Doro turled over, good defence there from York on Doro, listen to the noise from the crowd, Bradford, they've ran out of tackles, they're on the last as Lilly puts boot to ball, he'll kick towards Joe Brown in the far stand corner, takes it under pressure from Kieran Gill and the sunshine, and his tackle number one, 12 out from his own try line. So if you're just joining us this afternoon, West Yorkshire Radio, Bulls TV, make the game call the Gledl as always, Sunday afternoon, Championship Rugby League, it's York 18, Bradford 4. 
Bradford opening the scoring after six minutes, but since then it's been 18 unanswered points from the Knights, currently bottom of the table, winless, but looking to kickstart their season with a big win against the Bulls this afternoon. Here goes Davis and Fulton and Doro bringing down Jack Teambay, he'll get to his feet, he'll play the ball, five shy of halfway, Daly's in there at dummy half to Thompson, good spread there from Harris, over on the far stand side to Bailey, Bailey's lost the ball forward, and Bradford have recovered possession here on what will be the zero tackle, and McGowan is up to halfway here for Bradford, on zero tackle, so they're going to have a full set of six inside the York half, but just like that, in the blink of an eye, we've already had seven minutes gone in this second half. So the clock and scoreboard against the Bulls here. Tafua, five inside the York half tackle one. Suter now. Towards Blackmore, who just takes tackle one. Ten inside the York half. Attracting a lot of attention here from Kinehorse. Quick play the ball here. Goes Suter now with that line speed. And that's a good attacking play there from Mitch Suter. Scoop and go. Davis now towards Apo. Apo along the line to Lily. Lily to Butler. Butler with a line break. Butler's away towards the corner. Butler's brought down. Ten out from the York line. Five in from touch. They're on tackle four here, Bradford. One remaining. And he's just getting up a little bit gingerly here, Chester Butler, because he was lassoed by Jimmy Kynos there towards the ground. McGowan in at dummy half to Lily. Lily to Apo. Apo fronts up. He's brought down there on tackle number five. So the last tackle here for the Bulls. A suitor goes short to McGowan. Ball's touched to York and into touch. Repeat set of six coming up here for the Bradford Bulls. Or is it? We're just waiting to see what the call is. Chester Butler's still down here. Michael Smale gets the nod from the touch judge. And it will be more pressure here. That Bradford are going to put on the York try line. So York's fourth error of the afternoon. Very, very rare error at that. And there's a concerning looking injury here to Chester Butler, who has gone down on his haunches there after being lassoed by Jimmy Kinehorst in a, a real physical, tough, thunderous sort of challenge. He was away. It was a good line break from Chester Butler. He went towards the corner. It was lovely stuff there, to be fair, from the York Knights and Bradford under a lot of pressure. Lady scores on the door. Craven Park, it's Barrow 6, Doncaster 10. Batley leading Wakefield by 14 points to 12. No easy games in the Championship. It's still 16-6, Featherstone over Widnes. Halifax still getting pumped at the Shea, 22 points to nil. And it's Swinton 20. Dewsbury 12 two weeks to get uh, two weeks today Bradford are on the road and uh, they'll face the Swinton Lions and this is a nasty looking injury here to Chester Butler because the stretcher is coming on so the clock is stopped here and it's looking like we're going to have a bit of a lengthy delay of game here so the Bradford Bulls doctor is calling for the stretcher it's not looking good for Chester Butler he immediately went down and this might give him and O'Carroll a few more headaches they are going to have the scrum 10 metres out from the York try line and a chance um, to build some pressure and get some points and more importantly get themselves back in this game but this is looking very very concerning for the Bradford Bulls with Chester Butler down now for a number of minutes and he is requiring the stretcher well earlier on when we looked at the Bradford players that are missing Lee Gaskell Tom Holmes Michael Lawrence Jaden Myers Connor Cardio Adam Baldwinson and now it appears Dan Smith who's pulled up with an injury in the pre-match preparations. Um, and then you add in the seven injured at York, Will Dagger, Jesse D, Brendan Santa, James Cunningham, Bailey Antrobus, Levi Edwards and, and Ollie Field. You get a, a feeling that you could actually make a decent side out of the uh, injured players for, for both sides. Well, the good news here at the LNER Stadium, the stretcher is not required uh, and Chester Butler... Is leaving the field, is being carried off here by the Bradford Bulls doctor and physio and coaching staff. And it's looking like Chester Butler's afternoon is done and dusted. So Tyra Knott will come on for his first appearance of the afternoon. It's West Yorkshire Radio Bulls TV. And don't forget, in three weeks' time this afternoon, three weeks, 1895 Cup semi final, Bradford against Wakefield at Bardacard Hudson. Strong ticket sales already for that one. They're expecting a crowd between six and 7,000. Both Wakefield and Bradford 
80 minutes away from a trip to Wembley in the 1895 Cup final on Saturday the 8th of June. So everybody here just showing warm applause for Chester Butler as he leaves the field. Looking like he will play Nova for further part this afternoon. He's made of strong, stern stuff, Chester Butler. He's one of Bradford's six ever presents. And similar to Dan Smith, who Bradford lost early on before the ball was kicked. We'll try and find out what's up with Chester, but it's looking like it's a bit of an ankle injury at this moment in time. So then, time back on here. Bradford looking for their first try of this second half and away back into this game as Lily finds Doro. Doro now to Ott. And the former North Bears man wrapped up eight metres out underneath the York post. Quick play of the ball, Suter towards Lily. Lily drops the shoulder, can't get past Thompson. Good defence from Jacob Gannon as well, involved in that tackle. Suter out of dummy half to Davis to Ott. Pass intercepted and Yorker away. And this could be the game. McGowan's racing back. It's a valiant effort. But Yorker going to go 100 metres. It's Liam Harris underneath the post. Goodbye. And the York Knights, you feel, even at this stage, Bradford rolled the dice. The look for double six. They ended up with a one and a four. And Liam Harris has got his second try in as many minutes right at the start of the second half. 22 points to four. Tyron Ort, his ball was looking out wide for Gill and Tafua. And Bradford have just come up with a very self-inflicted error there. A nine error of the afternoon. It's a bit of a horror show performance from the balls. We're in the 50th minute at the LNER Stadium. Harris opened the scoring at the start of the second half. A lovely move from the back of the scrum. And I'm guessing that is the pressure of Bradford trying to get back in this game and chase this game. That's a real sucker blow. A real punch to the guts for Eamon O'Carroll and the Bulls. Kick predictor at 100%. Miles Harrison from in front, about to give York a four clear score lead, which he does. York Knights 24. Bradford Bulls 4. West Yorkshire Radio Bulls TV. And now what have Bradford got left in the tank here? There's still 30 minutes to go in this game, but we're not seeing any response. York 24, Bradford 4. It was Tyronot's pass, looking for Gill. Picked off by Liam Harris and he's gone 100 metres. Course to course for Harris. Two tries on his return from suspension. And now Bradford. They need to try and dig deep here. They've already had one heavy defeat and that was round one against Wakefield. York now moving the ball here with Pemberton. Well, they're, they're on a springboard of confidence here, the Knights. They've never given up hope, never stopped believing. And they're about to kickstart their season unless Bradford can do something drastic and fast. Thompson's playing the ball 10 try a halfway daily to Pemberton. Pemberton's rolled over five metres inside the Bradford half. They're on the last tackle on the restart. Scoreboard against the Bulls, 24 plays four. Daly back to Harris. Harris puts a high hanging kick. McGowan takes that, 10 out from his own try line. And it's that game management and the kicking of Harris that is having a real dominant bearing on proceedings here. George Tafua with a half break, a half chance, tackle two. He's on his own 30 metre line, 20 shy of halfway. Bradford need a score pretty sharpish here because that scoreboard and clock very firmly against them. We've got 27 minutes to go here as Blackmore plays the ball just shy of halfway. Davis now along the line towards Tyron Ott. Ott now to Fulton. Fulton through a 
gap, twisting, turning, pass back on the inside to McGowan, much better from the balls. McGowan to Doro, Doro back to McGowan, McGowan 10 metres inside the York half. Bradford were saying that touch to York hand, officials say no, tackle count continues. McGowan plays it, 10 inside the York half as Lily now runs it in and that's the last tackle. So Lily running it in on tackle four and Lily's gone down now. Referee will stop the clock. Another concerning injury coming up here for the Bulls as Fenton Rogers and Elliot Peposha are about to come on the field here. Well, I was just saying, Bradford's sort of game management with the ball. You've only got one recognised half out there in Jordan Lilly. Lilly running in on tackle four. That takes him out of the play on the last tackle. Very hard in these hot, sweltering conditions to keep a count of the tackle, but... Lilly gets the thumbs up from the Bradford physio, so Elliot Peposhek coming on the field here for his Bradford Bulls championship debut. And the kick comes in here from Davis on the last. Doro went for the contest, come off with the ball. And now York have got possession with Taylor Pemberton. The saying the ball went backwards from Doro and not forwards from. Joe Brown although York have lost the ball behind themselves officials say play on and with 26 minutes to go in this game here I might not have been premature in calling that the game when Liam Harris intercepted Tyron Ott's pass to go 100 metres unopposed underneath the post Josh Daly now moving the ball out of dummy half Ronan Michael's gone through a mountain of work here Kuma tie back out on the field for Andrew Henderson's side. Here goes Michael again. Ronan Michael taking three Bradford defenders with him. The 30 out from the Bradford try line. They're on the last tackle here the Knights underneath the Bradford pause. It goes wide towards Harris. Harris kicks towards Tafua. Tafua has to step back on the inside. And Tafua's lost the ball in his own goal area. Another error from the Bulls, a 10th error of the afternoon. And that error from Tafua in the goal area, it means York get a repeat set of six. Listen to the noise here at the LNER Stadium. The Bulls supporters not happy with the players behind the balls. They're trying to give them encouragement. Will you go for a short one here? They will go for the short one, will the Bulls? They kick towards the tallness of Gill. They've got the ball back, Bradford. And that's clever play there from the Bulls. John Davis ends up with it after Gill has palmed it back. Crucial play there from the Bulls, but they're at the wrong end of the field here. Bradford need to be putting pressure on the York line, not soaking up defensive pressure with York with ball in hand. 25 to go in this game here. Bradford down, 24 points to four. Tafua now carries Bradford outside their own 20. Tackle three. Suter's in at dummy half now. Gives it to Paposhet. He'll know Taylor Pemberton really well from his St. Helen days. Paposhet plays the ball on the Bradford 30. Davis now to Ott, to Lilly. Bradford have the overlap here with McGowan. McGowan up and over halfway. And McGowan breaks clear. McGowan goes past Harrison. No, he don't. He's fell by Akuma Tai. Akuma Tai wraps him up there. They're on the last tackle, Bradford. 20 out from the York line. Hot potato stuff here. Gill has it. 15 out, 10 out. Backing field to Tafua. They're keeping it alive, Bradford. They're still keeping it going. They're still on the last crossfield kick. And that's just gone dead in goal. There was no one there at home for York. Bradford had Blackmore, Arundel, Fulton queuing up. And in the end, Jordan Lilly, he was over here on the main stand side. It was young Paposhe who just put boot to ball. And that one has gone dead in goal. And that is just going to compound Bradford's problems here because it's going to be an extra tackle set. And all that hard work there from Aidan McGowan is in vain. Well, that was a Bradford try every day of the week. Unfortunately, there was no linchpin no pivot on that last tackle play there with ball in hands they worked so hard to stretch york and when you watch that back on the replay it will be painful viewing because you had tyronot fulton arundel and blackmore all pretty much waiting for a kick into the in goal area 
Oh, certainly a pass. And in the end, you've ended up with a forward kicking the ball dead in goal. York 24, Bradford 4 here at the LNER Stadium. Is the away back for the Bulls? There's still 23 minutes to go here. Well, a fifth try for York almost certainly means their season has kick-started in round five and it probably asks a lot of questions of the Bradford Bulls moving forward. Bradford now moving the ball down the middle, trying to stop the York offloads as Akuma tie breaks clear. Akuma tie passes back to Josh Daly. Daly's wrapped up underneath the Bradford Bulls. There's another clash of heads here and it's looking like it is... It's Jack Fulton. Zach Fulton's collided with Josh Daly. Referee's going to stop the clock here. Fulton doesn't know what day of the week it is. Well, if he fails the HIA, he misses witness next week. The doctor's coming on with a physio. It's a clash of heads here. No, Fulton's going to leave the field here with a HIA. He wants to stay on the field here, Zach Fulton. But they're saying he has to leave the field, so Doro will come on for Fulton. He's only just left the field, Aribi Doro. Bradford down to very limited interchanges on the bench. So the last tackle play here, Harris from in front. He puts an extra point onto the York total with a drop goal. It keeps the scoreboard ticking over. It's York 25, Bradford 4 here at the LNER Stadium. We are in the 56th minute, 23 to go. So York Knights 25, Bradford Bulls 4. Well, Bradford have lost Smith, Butler and now Fulton. The adversity now facing this Bradford Bull side is something else. York have lost the ball behind themselves. Bradford have then come up with an error themselves. They're saying it's come backwards off Brown. Suter's knocked it on. Another Bradford error, head and feed at the scrum to York. So it's a scrum to York, 25 out from their own line. Well, we spoke about the uh, the man of the match, Paul, and uh, we're fast approaching the, the hour mark here at the LNER Stadium, but I'm, I'm, I've got to be brutally honest, I'm really struggling. Um, I, th I don't think we're going to bother with the man of the match, Paul. Um, if anyone, I think Aidan McGowan deserves to be in contention for his, his efforts. Um, but certainly... It's been a, a very, very disappointing opening hour here at the LNER Stadium for the Bradford Bulls, despite that strong start with Kieran Gill scoring after six minutes. York, though, I don't think the point score is finished for them this afternoon. They're up to halfway here with Pemberton moving the ball down the middle now with Thompson. Thompson's broken clear. Jordan Thompson against McGowan. McGowan, good try saving tackle there on Jordan Thompson. I think we'll give Aidan McGowan the Bradford Bulls man of the match this afternoon. York have come up with the error. And Aidan McGowan, he's showing at least some fighting spirit and some battling pride in this Bradford Bulls performance. Scoreboard remains with an hour to go, uh, an hour gone, 20 minutes left. York 25, Bradford 4. Lady scores elsewhere. It is Barrow 6, Doncaster 22. Wakefield back in front against Batley, 28 plays 14. Featherstone against Widness, a Humdinger there, 22 18. Halifax, bad to worse for them. They trail 34 points to nil. And it's Swinton 32, Dewsbury 22 at Haywood Road. Bradford if we're saying the game is gone it's all about now building and showing a response for next week against Wigness but can Bradford stage a remarkable second half comeback here at the LNER that try saving tackle by McGowan on Thompson could be the catalyst could be the spark Lily now to Ott Ott's playing in the halves and Ott's broken clear Ott's made 15 metres there 
Hot from Hot is wrapped up five inside the York line, but Bradford running out of tackles. And York, they've had their discipline switched on from minute one, so they've not been conceding set restarts or penalties. Here goes Fenton Rogers down the middle channel. Rogers wrapped up by Thompson. And here we are, Bradford on tackle number four. One remaining, the 30 out from the York try line as Lilly takes the line on, now finds McGowan. McGowan tries to go through a gap, but he's wrapped up there by Lineman and Kynos. They're on the last tackle of the Bulls. 20 out from the York line. Lilly kicks ahead into space. Bounce the ball. is kind for Miles Harrison. Although Harrison's lost the ball under that tackle. And Bradford will have a repeat set of six. And Bradford quickly want to get this scrum head and feed here because the clock against and the scoreboard against them, they know that a try here gets them back in contention. Bradford down by 21 points, 25 plays for Minor, Smith, Butler and Fulton. This would be something special if Bradford come away with something from this game. Here goes McGowan, base of the scrum. McGowan towards the corner. McGowan's upheld, two metres out. Good sliding defence there from the Knights. Blackmore's in at dummy half, goes back to Tyron Ott. And Ott's just going to front up and take a crunching tackle from Akuma Ty and Jordan Thompson. Second tackle gone here for Bradford. They're eight metres out from the York try line as Fenton Rogers draws in. Doro, Doro's surging towards the line. And Arebi Doro, he's lost the ball over the York line. And look what it means to the York Knights. Doro gets up, slams the ball down in the in goal area. Not best plays. Error number 12 of the afternoon for the Bradford Bulls. 18 minutes to go here. York 25, Bradford 4. Well, we're not going to make excuses, or certainly Eamon O'Carroll won't make any excuses, but Bradford, as we say, they're going to end this game with virtually nothing left in the tank on the interchange bench because they've lost Dan Smith, Chester Butler and Zach Fulton. That might mean bodies are uh, pretty weak next week for the visit of Widnes to bar the card Odsall. But I'm just looking here at the York stats. They haven't conceded a set restart. They've only conceded three penalties all game and they've made four errors. And that will please Andrew Henderson because it's pretty much error-free rugby league from the York Knights. And as we said, where Toulouse last week were giving penalties and set restarts away, piggybacking Bradford up the field. York have not done that. Akuma tie down the middle up to halfway. York on the last tackle now after Doro lost the ball over the line for the Bulls. Jubb's going to go back towards Harris. Harris targets McGowan. McGowan in the sunshine does well from his own 20 metre line. Goes out wide towards Blackmore. Blackmore wrapped up by lineman, but he gets the ball away to Arundel. And Arundel's finally brought down there by Kyne Austin Pemberton. Five in from touch. Blackmore in at dummy half to McGowan. Well, Bradford are looking very, very fatigued out there now. A tired looking Bradford side. And we've got 16 minutes to go on the clock as it goes from on out of dummy half to Tafua. Tafua, 20 shy of halfway. Ball's been stolen. Rare penalty here. Rare penalty for Bradford. York's discipline has been on point this afternoon. But Will Jubb has just stolen the ball from George Tafua. And that will see Jordan Lilly drill the ball deep into the York half. And they've got a full set of six. 40 out from the York line. With 15 minutes left on the clock, can Bradford show a response here? It's been pretty nimble stuff in the North Yorkshire heat. Fenton Rogers tackle one, 30 out. On in at dummy half. Now to Paposhe, to Doro. Doro along the line to Wilson. Rolled over, 20 out. Tackle two. Suter back down the middle here with Ott. Ott now to Davis. Davis taking the line on, on that angle, but he's lassoed there by Kine Horst. And he's brought down 10 metres out from the York try line. Bradford just restricted to that Kieran Gill try after six minutes here. Can they trouble the York scoreboard operator? Peposh is playing it tackle four. Suter goes out a dummy half. Suter's over the line, is he? No, he's not. He's held up. Referee looks held up. We go back to the 10 and it'll be a last tackle play here. Taylor Pemberton, Jimmy Kinehorst, Miles Harrison... 
Those York defenders putting their bodies on the line there to stop Australian ace Mitch Souter from grounding the ball. So we're going back to the 10. 14 minutes to go here. Bradford down by 21. Is the away back for the Bulls. Last tackle play here up towards Lilly. Lilly kicks again looking towards Kieran Gill. Bounce of the ball's kind for York. But it's gone in an offside position, says referee Michael Smale. So York have ended up with the ball, but in an offside position. Back-to-back -back penalties. And now Bradford must surely, surely breach this York line if they're going to give themselves a fighting chance in this game. Penalty quickly tapped there by Kieran Gill to Fenton Rogers. Rogers is five out from that York try line. They're right in that far stand corner here at the LNER Stadium, playing away from the Bradford fans in the second half. But they are going to cross here with Tafua. He's got it down to Fua. No, he hasn't. He's held up. And listen to the noise here from the York supporters. Akuma Tai, Joe Brown, Miles Harrison once again. York are literally putting every ounce of available part of their body on the line to stop Bradford scoring. First suitor denied, now Tafua. So Tafua goes back towards the tank. Here goes Doro. He draws in those defenders. Ball wide towards Lilly to Arundel. Arundel shapes up. He's two metres out. Two tackles left here for Bradford after back to back sets. 13 minutes left on the clock. Lilly kicks early in the count here, chasing his Paposhe. And Elliot Paposhe has grounded the ball underneath the post. He's onside, and in his first championship start, he has given Bradford a lifeline. Clever thinking from Jordan Lilly. The kicking behind the defensive line. We're in the 67th minute, 12 left on the clock. And Jordan Lilly wants to get the conversion up, up and away, which he has done. And it's Bradford. 10 at York 25 and at long long last the Bulls they've got a lifeline in this game he was out of position was Miles Harrison because he'd done so much work in stopping Suter and Doro and also Tafua uh, clock is stopped 12 to go Strap yourselves in. We might just have a miracle on our hands here in North Yorkshire. West Yorkshire Radio Bulls TV. Lily, I think he dropped the conversion. It was so quick. York have conceded a penalty from the kickoff, and here we go. York now are questioning the officials. Jordan Lilly's gone for a quick tap. Lilly's caught high by Akuma Tai. Officials have missed it. This one's hot enough. Oh, listen to the noise from the fans. They're loving it. We've got 12 to go. It's 25 plays 10. A, a try here for Bradford. Well, the cat plays with the pigeons. They're now 10 inside the York half of the field. Well, Bradford have suddenly awoken. And here goes Tyron up now to McGowan. McGowan caught on the shoulder and Bradford two tackles left they're 30 metres out here at the very least they want to try and continue this momentum here to give themselves a very slim chance as they're moving out wide here with Harvey Wilson and Wilson's got the legs driving the legs pumping Bradford are around 15 out from the York try line now they're over on the far stand side Lilly's going to kick crossfield kick looking for Arundel Arundel palms it back but it's taken into the arms by Taylor Pemberton of the York Knights the Knights breathe a huge 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 sigh of relief they are back in possession here and they lead by 25 points to 10 but we've just seen a small glimmer of hope for him and all Carroll and the Bradford Bulls Clever thinking from Jordan Lilly. He just put a delicate grubber underneath the post. Piposhe beat Harrison, touched down and grounded the ball. Bradford are going to have at least four more sets of six in this game. They're going to have to score off two of them. That might all be immaterial because Joe Brown has broken clear. Joe Brown on a mazy run. Once again, McGowan comes in, wraps up Joe Brown. And York now find themselves deep inside Bradford territory. Lineman in at dummy half to Harrison. 
down the middle, it's going to go here with Teen Bay, and they're now knocking on the Bradford door, York looking for that killer, crucial fifth try of the afternoon, they move it short side here with Fitzsimmons, and Fitzsimmons the former Workington Town man's wrapped up, 15 metres out here, we've got 10 minutes left on the clock here, jump out of dummy half to Harris, Harris into the in-goal area, Suter alert to the danger, Bradford back in possession, but they're five metres out from their own try line, five metres out from their own try line, and now they've got a mountain of work to do here because the black and gold shirted York defence are just absolutely suffocating and smothering the Bulls defenders. Hail Mary stuff here from Bradford. Lily kicks early in the count. Kicks towards Tafua. Tafua can't take it in. Very, very nearly. The Hail Mary play there coming off. If Tafua takes it in, he's clear in the end. The bounce of the ball, not kind for George. It's gone into touch. Scoreboard says York 25, Bradford 10. Nine to go. York, they'll have the ball. 20 out from the Bradford line. Well, it's a very spirited fight back of sorts from the Bradford Bulls, but crucially, crucially, the damage done with those 25 unanswered points. Very, very similar to last season. Bradford leading 10-0 before 32 unanswered points. Putting the nails in the casket, the coffin. Nine minutes to go here at the LNER Stadium. Bradford down by 15. York looking to pick up their first win of the season. And Jack Timbers 10 metres out underneath the Bradford post. Liam Harris wrestled there by John Davis. A set restart conceded by Bradford. And they're just hanging on for dear life here. Bradford are on life support. They're down 25-10. Jubb gives it to Fitzsimmons to Thompson. Thompson's held up. Good defence from McGowan. Well, I might have been a little bit harsh earlier saying that there's very few who are in man of the match contention. But Kevin Apple's done nothing wrong for his chances. So too young Elliot Paposhe. We did decide we'd give it to Aidan McGowan for once again keeping the scoreboard respectable with his defensive efforts. Harris now drops the ball off there towards Reynolds. Reynolds over the Bradford line but held up. We're going back to the 10 again. And this is crucially just taking time off the clock here for the Bradford Bulls to get back in this game. Ultimately, Tyra Knott's pass that was picked off by Liam Harris. That, for mine, was the game-breaking moment of this game here. Yorker over the Bradford line again, and they're held up again. We go back to the 10. This time, it's Connor Bailey. And once again, York in no real rush to get the play of the ball underway. It's just running time off the clock here at the end of this game. Liam Harris to Akuma Tai. He's wrapped up by Rodgers and Apo. He's brought down. Last tackle coming up here. Does Liam Harris look for another one-pointer? He's calling for the ball. He's in front of the post. No, Jubb with the dummy over the Bradford line. Can he get the ball down? No, he can't. He's held up. And it remains here. York 25, Bradford 10. So Bradford's goal line defence. Pretty effective there on that set of six. Keeping York at bay. As Kevin Apple is dragged in goal. Goal line dropout. Four York players there. Dragging Kevin Apple back. Ten metres out, five metres out in goal. No one helping Kevin Apple out put the brakes on. Bull supporters not happy with that decision. They thought Kevin Apple's momentum had been halted. Once again, Bradford go for a short goal line dropout, but that one's straight into the arms of Miles Harrison. And after those back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back wins over Toulouse, Featherston and Halifax, Bradford are about to come crashing down to earth with their first defeat in four and second defeat of the season. Certainly makes it interesting next week against Widnes. York find themselves now Inside Bradford's 10 metre line with Jordan Thompson to Jubb. Jubb's over the Bradford line again, but he's pushed back in the field of play there by Davis and Rogers. Bradford missing Smith, Butler and Fulton here. But York, a class above with Liam Harris back in their side from suspension. 
and it's his magic his sprinkling on proceedings that is going to see York's first points of the season they're on the last tackle here five metres out from the line Akuma Tai throws the ball with Gay Abandon here to Thompson Thompson has Fitzsimmons outside him Thompson disrolls towards the line rolled over there by Davis and Ott we've got five minutes to go on the clock here West Yorkshire Radio Bulls TV York 25 Bradford 10 and McGowan's out of dummy half here to Blackmore and once again York pushing the Bulls forwards back towards that in goal area well we know the game's gone but Bradford just needs to keep an eye on proceedings here much much better there from Tafua Suda's out of dummy half wrapped up there by Akuma tight still going Suta penalty for a dangerous tackle well all of a sudden York have started to concede a glut of penalties well Jordan Lilly has tapped the ball he's run up to halfway and then he's met Akuma tight and he's lost the ball Error number 14 of the afternoon for the Bulls there. And I think that's a, a damning incitement of, of just Bradford's performance this afternoon. Certainly a lot of promise. There's been effort out there on the field. No questions about that. But at the end, the application, it's just not been there. It's been a little bit haphazard. It. And ultimately, the 14 errors that Bradford have come up with have uh, contributed to their downfall. And York might be about to this put, as we said, some more nails in that coffin. Three minutes to go here at the LNER and the 20 out from the Bradford try line. Moving the ball down the middle here with Team B. He's wrapped up 10 metres out underneath the post. Jubb's in there at dummy half. Harris is calling for it on this left-hand side. And Jubb himself's going to go out of dummy half. And he's a metre shy of the Bradford line. Last tackle, says referee Michael Smale. Kick into the in-goal area. A rundle safety first. Kicks it dead. All York pressure at the end of this game here. It's a third time in this second half that Bradford have been forced to concede a goal line dropout. Do they go short again? Yes, they do. But there's nobody there to go short, although the bounce of the ball will be kind for Bradford. Lily's got it. Gill now to Tafua. Tafua over on the far stand side. Wrapped up there by Brown. And that was much, much better there from McGowan. Quick thinking. Didn't quite go for the short 10 metre dropout where it would be touched by a Bradford player backwards. He went around 20 metres out, realised that there was no one in that sort of space. And Bradford ended up with possession. And now York have conceded another penalty here for being offside inside the 10. And with two minutes to go, Bradford might get a late consolation score here. Liam Harris given the man of the match by the York sponsors and I tend to agree he's been a, a class above a lot of players out there on the field his influence and bearing Tyra Knott now goes to Davis Davis has broken clear Davis finds the support Bradford looking to go in and they are going to get a late try here and it's Aidan McGowan strap yourselves in we've got 90 seconds to go and McGowan has narrowed the gap further still and it was John Davis with the line break. McGowan trying number five of the season for him. And that's just coming of a blink of an eye. So, a late rally here from the Bradford Bulls. The clock will end up beating the Bulls though. Lilly from the right hand side of the post pushes it wide. Scoreboard remains York Knights 25, Bradford Bulls 14. And we're in the final moments of this game here at the LNER Stadium. We've just got seconds left. But it is Bradford 14, York 25. And you've just seen probably how Bradford should have started the game in that kind of last five minutes. They've put York under pressure with the line speed out of the play of the ball and... York conceding a couple of penalties because not being able to deal with that line speed. So, final few moments of this game here. As Aribi Doro deals with the Liam Harris restart, he's going to be brought down 20 out from his own line. 
Hooter imminent here as Ben Blackmore's wrapped up by Conor Fitzsimmons. Full time here at the LNER Stadium in North Yorkshire. It's another defeat on the road for the Bradford Bulls, their second of the season. And they're back to back to back. Game winning streak after wins over Toulouse, Featherstone, and Halifax comes to a bitterly disappointing end at the LNER Stadium by 25 points.